Now let us discuss about logic gates. Logic gates accepts one or more inputs and produces only one output. We can classify logic gates into three types. The first one is basic gates. Second one is universal gates. Third one is special gates. Basic gates are AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. Universal gates are NAND gate, NOR gate. Special gates are exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate. First let us see about basic gates. So what is the first basic gate? AND gate. AND gate accepts two or more inputs and it produces only one output. This is the symbol for the AND gate. So this is the symbol for the AND gate. AND gate accepts two input symbols. So first input is A, second input is B. Uh, it can accept two or more inputs also. But in this diagram we have taken two inputs. And it produces only one output. Here Y is the output. AND gate means it simply performs product operation on the inputs. So we can write as output Y is equal to A dot B. So dot specifies that it performs product operation on A and B. Now let us see the truth table. So here we have two columns input and output. We have two inputs A and B and we are having only one output that is Y, y is equal to A dot B. If there are two inputs then totally we can get 2 power 2 combinations, 4 combinations. If there are 3 inputs then we will get 2 power 3 combinations, 8 combinations. Here we have 2 inputs. So totally we will get 4 combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. So AND gate means if both the inputs are 1 1 then the result is 1. If both the inputs are 1 1 then the result is 1 otherwise the result is 0. Otherwise the result is 0. Here 0 is called as low whereas 1 is called as high. So we can say that if one of the input is 0 if one of the input is 0, then the output is 0, okay. In 0, 0 we have 0, in 0, 1 we have 0, in 1, 0 we have 0. If one of the input is 0, then the output is 0, otherwise the output is 1, okay. So this is about what is AND gate. Now let us see the second one, that is R gate, R gate. R gate accepts two or more inputs and it produces only one output. Now let us see the symbol for the R gate. So R gate is represented by this symbol. So this is the R gate symbol. So R gate accepts two inputs. Okay. So this is the symbol. So R gate accepts two inputs A and B and it produces one output that is Y. So R means it simply performs some operation on the inputs. Here the inputs are A and B. So the output is y is equal to a plus b. It simply performs the sum operation on the inputs. Uh, let us see the truth table now. Uh, so here we have two inputs 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Whereas the output is represented by a plus b. Output y is equal to a plus b. Okay. Now let us see what is the truth table for the R gate. If one of the input is 1, then the result is 1. So here we have 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Here we have two inputs as 1. So, 1. So, we can say that if one of the input is high, then the output is high. If one of the input is high, then the output is high. Otherwise, the output is low. So, if both the inputs are 0, the result is 0. Otherwise, the result is 1. So, this is the truth table for the OR gate. Now, let us see about uh, NOT gate. NOT gate can also be called as invert gate. What is the other name for NOT gate? Invert gate. So it simply inverts the, it simply complements the corresponding symbol. NOT gate accepts only one symbol, only one input. So let A is the input. Then NOT gate is represented like this. So this is the NOT gate. So we can represent output as Y is equal to A bar. So NOT gate simply performs the complement operation. So if the input is 0, then the output is 0 bar 1. If the input is 1, then the output is 1 bar 0. So here it is not visible. Let us write here. So y is equal to a bar. A bar. Okay. Uh, now let us see the truth table. 
here we have only one input that is a and it produces one output that is a bar if the input is 0 output is 1 if the input is 1 then the output is 0 so this is the truth table so y is equal to y is what is the output y is equal to a bar is the output so this is about invert gate so invert gate accepts only one input and it produces only one output if the input is a then the output is y is equal to a bar so that is about basic gates now let us see the universal gates so why NAND and NOR gates are called as universal gates universal gates means by using universal gates we can implement any other gate so by using NAND gate and NOR gate we can implement AND gate, OR gate, NOR gate, XR gate, XNOR gate so that's why these gates are called as universal gates so by using universal gates we can implement any other gate so what is the first universal gate NAND gate NAND gate the name itself specifies the meaning N stands for NOT so NAND gate is a combination of NOT and AND NOT and AND okay so NAND means NOT plus AND so NAND gate accepts two or more inputs and it produces only one output okay now let us see the symbol for the NAND gate symbol for the NAND gate so what is NAND gate so NAND gate means it is a combination of AND 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 not gate so two inputs a and b so we need to provide those inputs to the and gate so now what is the output of the and gate a b and this output will be passed to the not gate so not gate so not gate means after the triangle we need to use bubble so not means after this triangle we need to use the bubble so then the output is y is equal to a b bar a b bar so NAND gate means it is a combination of AND gate and NOT gate okay or we can represent NAND gate symbol as like this so AND gate and after that we need to write bubble so AB so what is the output now output is Y is equal to AB bar so here the output of the NAND gate is the complement of the product of the inputs what is the output of the AND gate uh, product of the inputs Whereas the output of NAND gate is the complement of the product of the inputs. Now let us see the truth table. So y is equal to y is equal to a b bar. Uh, so first let us write for uh, a b. Let us write for a b. So y is equal to a b. So what is the output? If the uh, for a b what is the output? A b means product. So if if the inputs are one one, then the output is one. Otherwise the result is zero only. Whereas for the NAND gate, the output is y is equal to a b bar. a b bar means complement of the product. So 0 will be changed to 1, 0 will be changed to 1, 0 will be changed to 1, 1 will be changed to 0. So this is nothing but the truth table for the NAND gate. Okay. Truth table for the NAND gate. So we can represent NAND gate like this. We can use any one of this diagram. So NAND gate means after the NAND gate, we, we have to use the bubble. So that bubble represents complement of the NAND gate. Now let us see the next gate that is NOR gate. So NOR gate accepts two or more inputs and it also produces only one output. Okay. The name itself specifies the meaning. NOR gate means it is a combination of NOT gate and R gate. Okay. So here we have to use the R gate. We have to use the R gate. So the inputs are passed to the R gate. So R gate produces A plus B. R gate produces A plus B. So now that A plus B will be passed to the NOT gate. Now what is the output? A plus B whole bar. A plus B whole bar. This is the output. So the output of NOR gate is simply the complement of the sum of the inputs. The complement of the sum of the inputs. Okay. Or we can write it as like this. Uh, here we need to use which symbol? We need to use which symbol? NOR symbol. NOR symbol. So this is nothing but NOR gate. OR gate and after OR gate we have to use bubble. Bubble represents complement of the OR gate. So we can represent output as Y is equal to A plus B bar. Y is equal to A plus B bar. Okay. Now let us see the truth table. So first we need to compute A plus B. So what is the truth table for A plus B? If the inputs are 0 
then the output is 0 otherwise the output is 1 whereas what is nor gate nor gate means the complement of the sum of the inputs so 0 will be changed to 1 and remaining 3 occasions the output is 0 so the output of the nor gate is 1 3 bull 0 so 0 3 bull 1 so it will be it will be changed to 1 3 bull 0 so this is about nor gate so these two gates are called as universal gates why because by using these two gates we can implement any other gate now let us see about special gates so we have two special gates are there the first one is xor gate the second one is exclusive exclusive nor gate so xor gate xor gate so in full form we can write as exclusive or exclusive or so it also accepts two inputs and produces one output it also accepts two inputs and produces one output okay let the inputs are a and b the formula for the a exclusive or b is so this is the exclusive or symbol so plus symbol plus symbol must be enclosed within a circle okay a plus b is equal to a bar b plus a b bar a plus b is equal to a bar b plus a b bar okay now let us see the symbol for the xr gate okay xr gate so it also accepts two inputs a b so this is the symbol so before the r gate we have to use a, a curve line there like this so y is equal to a exclusive r b so exclusive r is represented by this symbol r gate before the r gate we have to use a curve 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 symbol like this okay now let us see the uh, truth table so if the inputs are a and b output is a exclusive r b y is equal to a exclusive r b a bar b plus a b bar okay if the input is 0 then what is the formula a bar b a bar b if you take 0 what is 0 bar 1 so 1 into 0 means 0 if the input is 0 then a bar b so what is the formula a bar b plus a bar b plus a b bar here what is the input 0 is the input then a bar will become 1 what is the b 0 so 1 into 0 means 0 plus a b bar what is a 0 into b bar means 0 bar 0 bar means 1 so 0 into 1 means 0 0 into 1 means 0 so 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 means 0 likewise if you take last one 1 1 let the input is 1 so then what is 1 bar 0 0 into what is b 1 plus a b bar what is a 1 into what is b bar 1 bar 0 so 0 into 1 means 0 plus 1 into 0 means 0 so 0 into 1 plus 0 1 into 0 means 0 only next 0 1 0 1 what is 0 complement 1 next what is b 1 1 into 1 plus what is a value 0 what is b bar 1 bar 1 bar means 0 so 1 into 1 means 1 1 plus 0 means 1 if you take 1 0 then what is a bar 1 bar 0 into what is b 0 0 plus 0 plus what is a value 1 into what is b bar 0 bar means 1 so 0 plus 1 means 1 so here the point is if the inputs are same if the inputs are same then the output is 0 if the inputs are same then the output is low so 0 0 means 0 1 1 means 0 if the inputs are same then the output is low if the inputs are different if the inputs are different then the output is high so 0 1 output is high 1 0 output is high so if the inputs are same output is low if the inputs are different then the output is 1 so this is about xr gate or exclusive or gate we can write as exr also now let us see the next one that is x nor gate x nor gate so x nor stands for exclusive nor gate exclusive nor gate okay exclusive nor gate means it is a combination of xr and not gate so we can write this as a exclusive b whole bar so exclusive nor gate means the complement of a exclusive b so we can write this as a exclusive or b complement can be written as a dot we have to enclose dot within the circle so a this is nothing but a exclusive nor symbol so the formula is very very simple a b plus a bar b bar a b plus a bar b bar so this is the formula okay now here 
After this uh, exclusive war, we need to supply the baboon. Why? Because what is XNOR? XNOR means combination of XR and NOT gate. So, after the exclusive OR gate, we need to supply the baboon. So, this is the out. What is the output? Exclusive NOR. Exclusive NOR means we need to use dot symbol. Okay. We need to use dot symbol. Okay. Uh, here, the output is entirely different. Okay. Output is entirely different. Uh, so, 0 means 1. So, 1, 1 means 0, 0. Whereas, 1, 1 means output is 1. So, that means if the inputs are same, if the inputs are same, 0, 0, 1, 1. If the inputs are same, then the output is high, 1. Whereas, if the inputs are different, then the output is low. Okay. So, this is about what is XNOR gate. So, this is about logic gates.